Welcome to Blue's Garden, making kale chips. Kale chips are tasty and extremely easy to make. I start with washed, very dry kale leaves. First thing I do, trim off that big base of the stalks. Save all that that's going in your compost pile after you crush it up. Next thing up is you need to remove the spines from all the leaves. Uh, the spine will dry to become like a twig, and it's really not very tasty, and you want all consistent sizes of everything. Again, I'm keeping the spines for my compost pile. But So remove all the spines from the leaves. Um, try and save as much of the green leaves as you can because, hey, you've taken all that time to grow kale, might as well make good use of it. Now, next thing you're gonna do is cut up all the kale leaves into consistent, even pieces. I do it about an inch or so, which is about three centimeters. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but in you go. Uh, put a little splash of some olive oil. That's just to help the sea salt stick. A uh, little tiny splash. I add pink Himalayan sea salt. About a tablespoon for this size of uh, batch that I'm making here. Um, mix it all thoroughly. You want a little bit of salt on each. Want a tiny bit of olive oil on each. Gives it a little extra crisp. Uh, then you take your dehydrator racks. I cover mine with parchment. It just makes it much easier on cleanup. Nice, even, single layer. It's okay for the leaves to touch, but you don't want them to overlap. The idea here is everybody gets some good airflow. All the racks very evenly distributed, give a little airspace inside the dehydrator. Um, I did three racks of the sea salt. I try to do it at 130, 130 degrees Fahrenheit for about five hours. I know it says six here, or it says five and a half, but what I did is I took a look at it at five, and they, the, this batch was perfect. Once they're done, get them all into a nice pile. And then I get them all in a Ziploc, although, I don't know why they go in a Ziploc. Uh, they don't, they, they last for quite a while, but not in my house just because they get eaten. Thanks, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Blues Garden Tips.